What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Keeping It Real. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a 3D background for your guys' aquarium. But first, I just want to say thank you guys that subscribe to my channel. We're over 1,400 subscribers. That is freaking sweet. You guys don't know how much that means to me. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Turn on that notification bell. But let's get to this video. Alright guys, so the tools and materials needed for this job are pretty basic. Now I built this whole 3D background for under 20 bucks, and that's including the concrete mix. So you're going to need some mix, you're going to need a cog gun with silicone, a tape measure, something to cut with, and you're going to need some styrofoam. So now I'm cutting on my foam to length here. Now when you do do this, measure the inside of your tank minus a half inch, because it is a very tight fit when you go to install this. Now thankfully, I have no center brace in this tank, so I can install it a little easier. If you do have a center brace, you might need to cut your background in half and install it in two pieces. But I'm just getting all my pieces cut here. Now I'm going to be siliconing them all together. Now I'm going to let this thing dry for about 24 hours so it's nice and hard. I know it's just styrofoam, but we'll at least stiffen it up a little bit before we start carving it out with a knife. So... Now we got the foam all cured. As you can see, this side is way thicker than the other side. Now I only did this because I'm gonna be carving a cave out right here and doing a bunch of different like rock type look. This little hole that I made here, this is gonna be where my filter goes. And I'm gonna cut it out down the bottom so I have a little space where all the water can flow through nice and evenly. We're gonna start carving this thing and I apologize I don't know what happened to the lighting on this part but uh, you don't have to be a professional at this step you just take your knife roughen it up a little bit make a little cave just when we do the mud part of this step you will see that it changes the game now you can see here I got it all carved out a little bit like I said this is where my inlet of my uh, filter is gonna go Alright, so now it's time to apply the concrete mix. I do recommend you guys mixing this in small portions because this stuff does harden up pretty quick. Now, you can't mess this step up at all. You take your paintbrush, slap it on there, make sure you cover the whole background, and make sure you fill in all the cracks. Now, you guys don't have to go into as detailed as I did with this background by stacking layers of styrofoam up. You can do this with just one layer of styrofoam slap this mud on there and you're gonna get that cool rock look now the only reason i did it like this is because i wanted to hide my filtration and whatnot but after i did it 24 hours later that's what you guys are seeing now this thing is hard as a rock it's super heavy it's gonna hold down great once i silicone it in the tank So after we silicone the background into place and let it cure for 24 hours, it's now time to fill up the tank. Now I do recommend you guys do a couple large water changes right away before you guys add your fish back into the tank because your pH levels are going to jump up a little bit adding this background in here. Just something to look out for, watch some pH levels the first week or two in the tank. But yeah, guys, I think this background turned out sweet. Like I said, it was under $20. Took me an hour to make. And I hope this video really helped you guys. Because this is how I learned how to make a background myself. As other YouTubers posting videos on how to make them. So I hope this video helped you as much as those videos helped me. But alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Until the next one. Peace.